While the hive mind freaked out over Instagram's logo redesign, you may have missed the classical art treatment for movies, the surfboard for data addicts, and how robots continue to evolve. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where you can build your own robot, watch robots battle each other, watch cheetah bots leap obstacles, and so much more. Sex robot, sex robot. And yet the one thing that robots struggle with is the very thing that would make them universally appealing, using their fingers to do things so we don't have to. That's why University of Washington researchers built this robot hand that is dexterous enough to spin objects. Most interesting is that it has an algorithm that discovers what works and what doesn't, so over time it can get the hang of whatever baton twirling its cruel human overlords have made it tackle. But you know what all that adaption could enable in a worst case environment, so... Nice knowing you. Put aside the fact that a lot of surfers hit the water to try and get away from it all, and also that some may be the crankiest sand-encrusted loners to ever wash up on a beach. Welcome to California, where the beaches have become battlefields and the waves are a war zone. Samsung invented a smart surfboard for pro surfer Gabrielle Medina, and it does look pretty incredible. It can update water conditions in real time, since they often change even while you're out there, and so that Medina can stay in touch with his coach while surfing. It has a Samsung Galaxy actually inside it. I doubt a surfer this great needs a message to tell him when to charge a wave, but whatever. Smart surfboards for every non-cranky water person. So that just eliminated like 95%. Researchers from Germany's University of Freiburg, 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 no, Freiburg, have a crazy new way of mashing up movies. They've developed a system that mixes famous film scenes with classical art pieces. So it puts a little Matisse in the Matrix and adds some Starry Night to Miss Marple. The system recognizes individual objects within the film frame and automatically applies the art style of history's greatest painters. It looks a lot like Google's Deep Dream algorithm and takes a supercomputer's processing power to do it. The system takes three minutes of processing per frame to create each of these scenes. And now TLDR, where we do the week's reading for you. Somebody invented a parachute for drones. Texas Instruments is selling a gold-hued TI-84 Plus CE graphing calculator. Amazon named its new car show The Grand Tour. Facebook is adding 360-degree images to users' news feeds. Google rolled out a new tap-to-translate feature. And we got to see a demo of the Hyperloop high-speed propulsion system. Sorry, suckers, only four shows this week. Have good weekends.